Hey, how's everybody going tonight? So, uh, a little chilly out tonight. We're going to light the wood stove. First time all year. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about how I do it and talk a little bit about this wood stove. Uh, this is the second year we've had it. I got it loaded up already, but this is a U.S. stove. It's called a Forester pedestal stove, I think is what it's called. I can't remember the actual number of it, but... Um, it's been a good stove. I, re I really like it. I almost think it could maybe have a little bit bigger burn chamber in it, but I mean, it works. It works very well. Our house is about 1,300 square foot, so it's not very big. It's supposed to be rated for like 2,000 square foot. I think it's like 115,000 BTU. Um, no damper. It's supposed to all be controlled by the air lever here on the bottom. Um, it's got an ash pan on it. I personally never used it. And, I uh, I have a uh, ash vac from when I had a pellet stove, so that's what I use. I just vacuum it out with ash vac real quick, and I don't bother using that. I should probably at least try it. I mean, I've pulled it out. I've you know taken the plug out, stuff like that. But you can see it in there. Like I say it's it's never had ash, in it, so um, yeah, six inch flue. I got six inch double wall going up to six inch triple wall going up from there but i went double wall because of where my box is up here next to the ceiling it's only i think i don't remember 12 inches or something like that from the edge of that pipe to the wall uh single wall you're supposed to be it's like 18 or 24 inches i can't remember but it's closer than what i have room for but uh so i went double wall um I figure um, chimney is not something I want to take chances on. You know, if I need, if it said I need to run triple wall, I'd run triple wall. I'm not going to skimp out on it. I got the spot on it from where my kettle sat last year. I got some stove polish. See if that'll take it off. I'm sure it will. I haven't done it yet. I might not even do it this year. I might wait till next year. But um, this one does have the blower on the back. Um, I, I, you, I've used it. It's, it's a little loud. I usually just keep the ceiling fan running. Um, I don't know. It's about 62 degrees in here right now. It won't take long to warm this up, but it, uh, it heats real nice. I do, you see I got paper on the bottom. I got some real small kindling, a little bit bigger stuff on top. Um, I've tried the, uh, down method. I've tried it. It, uh. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I haven't been able to figure out how to get it to work. It doesn't... I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just prefer to do this. I get it started. I'll throw a couple more pieces of kindling in there. Get a decent you know bed of coals going. And then chuck a log on top. And we're off to the races. But um, I mean, it's been a good stove. I, I You can't match that wood heat this time of year. It's like 40 degrees outside right now. Wind blowing. Not real bad, but probably 20 mile an hour wind. Enough that it's it's cold. And uh, yeah, we're gonna light it up and we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, um, EPA rated. Yeah, it was here. It's got them little burn tubes, secondary burn up on top there. See that board, insulating board. It's got three burn tubes going back in there. Air intake up top. That's where the air comes in. Wraps around the front. It's supposed to be air wash. It works fairly well. Um, the stove, I think, is a little bit oversized for the house, so i got to keep it choked down a little more, probably the most. Um, so the air wash, it does get black a little bit on it, but it don't take nothing to clean it off. Let's see if we can find a lighter around this place. I got one somewhere. Sure do. But, yeah, it, uh, so watch out, puppy. I need to do something along the edge of my hearth yet. I think I'm just going to wrap it in wood, stain it. I got more than enough distance from here to the stove. What it says I need. Uh, one thing is, you got to let these things, from what I've noticed, you really got to let them get burning before you try closing them up. Um, I don't know if it's by design or what, but there's this little end of this screw back here. If it, you know, you put, you put your handle in and you lock it. Right, you know, it goes in, you lock it, door's locked. 
on mine, maybe it's just by chance it's mine, but if I turn it the opposite direction, that bolt hooks. And it's gapped just a little bit. Just enough to where it gives it a nice, good draft. Sucks in a lot of air, really lets it get raging. And then I can lock it down and close it. But that's how I do it. Really seems to work really well. I'll get her started here. And it takes not real long, but a little bit to get this thing going. It might not even go first time. Some guys, you know, you got to get that flu hot. And it works better when it's colder outside. Let me grab a little more newspaper. Don't be stingy with the newspaper. I don't know where you guys live. I get like three or four of these newspapers delivered to my house every week. I mean, I don't order them. I don't pay for them. It's just the, I don't know what they are, county. Let's throw one right on top. Like a county thing. But they send them to the house every week. And uh, usually around August, I'll... Uh, I'll start saving them, but I'm going to let that get going. I already see some of these small pieces down here starting to burn. The biggest thing I've noticed, uh, I throw one on top like that sometimes um, simply for the heat. It's not so much the flame that I need to get the wood going. Sometimes it's just the extra heat, so I'll just throw a piece on top simply for the heat but you can see how it'll start getting sucked up front i mean it's pretty cool outside so it's going to have a nice draft to it but it starts getting sucked up and get your flu nice and active let it start burning and don't be in a great big hurry for it you know, let it burn, let it do its thing. Don't just be like, oh, there's a big flame in there. Let's throw it up and put a log in. Let it go for a little bit. And I'm not going to video the whole thing because this, I mean, I don't know how long it takes. 15, 20 minutes. Uh, usually, like when I get home in the morning, I'll throw a bunch of kindling in like that and rig my coals around. I work third shift, so I get home in the morning, take a shower, and throw a bunch of kindling in like that. And let it get burning. And then... Uh, by the time I get out of the shower, it's usually a nice bed of coals, and I just throw a log or two in, and depending on how cold it is out. Here, I'll show you what happens when you shut this door down. You'll notice how drastically that flame changes. See how slow that got? I don't want it to go out, so. Like I said, that's why I just turn it backwards and hook it like that. I, like I said, I don't know what what's in it. If that bolt's by design, or if that's just... Uh, I ain't got a whole lot out here right now. But... I got a couple of bigger pieces. This stuff is just the uh, like the splinters and stuff that come off my uh, log splitter when I'm splitting. And I throw them in a Rubbermaid tote and put them in the shed. Let them dry out nice and good. Always open your door slow. Let it start sucking from in the room before you rip the door open. And then you got smoke and ash and all kinds of other stuff billowing back into the room. But... I mean, you see, that's a, I mean, that's a decent little piece of wood. Definitely not something I would use for, you know, actual fuel, but, you know, we'll let her get cooking and let that burn down a little bit. One thing, too, is, like, my wood's nice and dry. This stuff, I've actually, I brought it up probably three weeks ago, let it sit on the porch. So it's brought in, well, in the shed before that, and now it's on the porch, but, you know, I'm going to say I'll do that, and then I'll throw another piece of, Throw a log on top after she gets going here pretty good and I say give her you know 10 15 minutes to burn down. You can already see, I mean there's no newspaper left in there. That, that's all wood. Um, but like I say, this there's no damper in this. It's all controlled by the airflow coming in. Um, a lot of people said you should have a damper. I I I don't know. I mean, they say you should. The owner's manual says it's not recommended to put a damper in. I don't know if it'd make a difference or not. Uh, maybe someday I'll try it. I don't know. But I see, I mean, I got to feel the heat rolling off this thing. So, I mean, it ain't going to take a long to warm the house back up to 70 degrees. 
wood heat's different. 75 degrees with a propane furnace feels pretty warm. You're sweating, but 70 degrees, 75 degrees with a wood stove, just nice. Warms you up good. See that hole in the wall there? That's from the air intake from my pellet stove that I used to have. This one's got an option. You can put an air intake on it. It's like a four inch dryer vent, but I might, because my basement's always so cold, I might pop a hole through the floor or into the wall maybe and run a line. Thank you, Captain. Run a line into the basement just to suck the cool air out of the basement. So I don't really know. But other, I mean, it's been burning good. I don't worry too much about the efficiency of the stove, um, mostly because I don't buy wood. I just, it's all mine. I mean, I, I try to watch it, but I just love watching a fire. There's something mesmerizing about it. You can see everything in there is burning down nice and good. You see how, I mean, it's getting sucked right up. Even if you open the door, you'll be able to see it. This is why if you open your door slow, you don't get any smoke or anything back in your house. You can see that's getting sucked right up that flue. That flu is nice and active. So, I mean, it's sucking. I mean, I could, I won't, obviously, because you don't want a spark or something to come out. But you can see here with the door open. And, I mean, it'll, there's not going to be any smoke coming in the house. That insulating board up there is supposed to be pushed all the way to the back. You want the gases that come off this wood to go up and across to them pipes. And then curl up and out of your flue. Um... That's how it's supposed to work. That's how it's designed to work. Um, oh yeah, I got her feeler. She's getting nice, nice and warm. But like I say, that's how I light mine. Let's close this off and we'll see what it does. Yep. See, now I still have my air intake open all the way, but that's what it's doing. I mean, that's what, I don't want to close it down yet because, I, I mean, obviously I don't want it to go out, but we'll let her get up to operating temp, you know, 500 degrees or so, four or 500 degrees, and I say, we'll let that burn down, we'll throw in our log in, and we're good to go. And I mean, a video start to finish, and we're, we're at 12 minutes right now, so I mean, this is, this is it. I could have left that door cracked another five or ten minutes i mean it'll get the stove itself will get a little warm not anything crazy but like i say i do that in the morning throw that kind of stuff in jump in the shower by the time i come back out you know 10 minutes later 15 minutes later all that's left is a pile of coals so i mean throw your logs in and you're good to go dry firewood is what you need dry firewood kindling i keep lots of kindling on hand because I, I mean i just use a lot of it just to get stoves going I don't want to fight with them, throw a little bit of small kindling pieces in, let it go. There's a the puppy's, a, I'll tell you, right, right there, right there in front of that hearth pad will be that dog's favorite spot. It's where she likes to lay nice and warm. It takes a little bit. And pipes, you won't really see them burn until she gets pretty hot. But you see, we're starting to get some coals in the bottom and... We're going to throw some logs in and we're going to sit down and then just enjoy the fire. I, I love this time of year. I used to hate the winter time. But I'm getting to the point where I really, really like it. So you guys have a good night. And uh, this right here. Free heat. I'm not paying anybody for it. It's mine. Nobody can take it from me. This is the best life. You keep living yours and we'll see.